What is up guys, this is Max Square back with another video. And over the last couple of years, I've been getting a lot of requests on how I design my channel art, um, like my banner and my avatar, and also um, my thumbnails. So I'm gonna be doing um, a video, which is this one on um, my channel art, which is banner and avatar. And then I will be doing another video on how to design cool thumbnails that you know catch the eye and actually look cool. So this may seem like really anticlimactic for designing a channel banner for YouTube, but I just head over to my web browser, um, Chrome of course, and I just type in YouTube banner template. Wow. Uh, images, and it's usually the first or second one here. And it's just a 2560 by 1440, that's the dimension that YouTube likes. And this literally just shows you um, the width for a mobile, tablet, and desktop display, and then of course the TV um, in the background. And so what I'll do is I'll drag it onto the desktop like this, and then I can open up Photoshop, and you can use literally anything like uh, Pixelmator, Sketch, Illustrator. Um, Photoshop's just easier with artboards, and I already have templates in there, so it's easier to just duplicate it and keep working. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new document, 2560, 1440, and then just drag this in here, hit OK. And then I'm gonna zoom in and make sure your rulers um, are on, just Command R, um, or you can go to uh, View, Rulers, to toggle that on and off. And then you can just drag a vertical one at the desktop. Same for the tablet. And then go over to the right. Do the same thing. And then just do horizontal. And then when you zoom out, you can just delete your background and you've still got your guides. So it's actually pretty simple. You just use like six guides and throw them on there. And then you can duplicate that and use it for any other project. And that's what I do when I'm designing um, a new banner or when I'm using it for uh, like a friend's uh, channel art or a client's. And that's just something you can keep using. And then what I'll do is I'll go to uh, layer new and say artboard from layers and uh, this will keep the dimensions from what we started with and I'll just call this uh, banner. So now what we can do is go to uh, layer, new artboard. We're gonna make a uh, 512 or 500, whatever you wanna do, uh, just a square and we're gonna call this avatar or icon or profile picture or the square one. Drag it above that just so you don't have to like scroll past the banner to see it next time. So this is pretty much how I set up my template. I've got an avatar artboard and I've got a banner artboard. Um, I only add guides to the banner because it's really rare that you'll ever like cut off what's in the avatar. I just tend to give, you know, just a couple pixel margin around. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, in terms of designing it, what I usually do is just go over to uh, unsplash.com and they've got some great images you can always pull from. Um, Galaxy photos are awesome to play with. You just grab a cool one. This looks good. And these are really high resolution. They're like four or five K. So if you drop it in, it's going to be more than enough for what you need. And then, so taking like a cool galaxy picture and then just adding text that's like cube channel. And I can see what it's going to look like just with the uh, square here. And even that looks pretty cool, but I could take that and just uh, set it to overlay blend mode and duplicate that a couple times, maybe just once. And then in terms of just moving it over to like the avatar, uh, just duplicate this, move it up to the avatar, center it. And then I'm just gonna duplicate the text, move it over there. And like I said, when I'm looking at the margin, I pretty much just um, leave a couple pixels around just like a nice border. And if you really want to get technical, you could create like a new shape. Um, just hit like 512, 512, center it, um, take out the fill and then just add like a border and you could add like, you know, 25 or something. And then if you really want to get to the edge, you know, you could just like make sure that lines up perfectly if you, um, if you if you really want it to be perfect. Um, but for the most part, these pictures are uh, usually pretty small, so people really won't see like a huge difference. Um, you know, you could play with that to get it perfect. 
And then once you're done, I mean, you've, you've pretty much got your banner and you've got your avatar. So all you have to do is just hit file and uh, say export artboards to files. You know, pick a place to save it, desktop, open. And I usually use uh, PNG when I'm uploading to um, YouTube just because it's a little higher quality than JPEG. Just run that script or whatever. And you've got your channel art ready to go. So that's pretty much all I do for my banner, my profile picture on YouTube. I've been getting so many requests for this, like I said, so I just figured I'd go ahead and make a video to show you guys what I do. I will be putting a link to this project down below, so you can download that, open it, see exactly what I did, and play around with it, whatever you want to do. But I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Then let's say I open up a sticky, and I just go ahead and paste... Wow, everything I'm trying to do...